For now, though, Limpopo Health MEC Dr. Popi Ramachoba has received backlash after a video of her blaming foreign nationals for the failing health system in the province went viral. This has brought to the fore challenges in the health system as a whole. Uh, let's speak now to uh, Dr. Alex or Profis. I beg your pardon, Professor Alex Pandeyeva from the Vid School of Governance, in particular about the national health insurance, which is touted to be the solution for the ailing health system in South Africa. Prof, good to see you once again. Thank you very much for availing yourself this afternoon. So there was a call for policy engagement um, that happened quite some time ago, uh, and we note that an overwhelming bulk of submissions was made by all other non-patient health policy participants, meaning what? Uh, the, well, uh, uh, I, I assume there would be a, a sort of participation by, by, by sort of all uh, people who are affected by the health system as part of the policy process. But the policy process itself is very unclear, and it's very unclear what people actually want from the consultation itself, from the engagement with society, because very little appears to change uh, when, you know, when there is engagement. Hmm. How important is it that patients are also represented in these consultations? Yeah, so we're, we're all patients at some point in time. Uh, hmm. So not everybody's a patient at the time of the policy reform. So we're all actually um, affected and, and, uh, and, and will be uh, affected by any health reform one way or another. So essentially including society as a whole is an important way of, of, of gleaning what you want from a, from a health system. But people who have been patients in, in the health service have a direct sort of visceral experience that they can convey in a, in a policy process. The question really is, uh, you know, is, is first of all, whether or not any engagement, whether it's with people who've had a recent experience of being a, um, in part of the, the health service, being treated in part of the health service, or whether it's somebody who's uh, fearful of being uh, treated, uh, whether or not uh, the, their their position is actually being taken seriously, or whether the consultation process is just a sort of a, a relatively manipulative one, uh, which purports to take their views into account, but is actually just going to implement whatever um, uh, the key policy decision makers want to implement. Uh, Prof, just before we let you go, um, we spoke yesterday of cross-border compensation, right, in relation to what the health MEC um, has said. So I do wonder with the NHI, what kind of conversations are being had about that, right, So because it's touted to be the solution uh, for the healthcare system? Yeah, so firstly, NH, the NHI bill and all previous policy proposals uh, are, are sub substantially lacking in any kind of detail. So they can't really, it can't really be uh, sort of trotted out as a solution to every problem we have in the health system. You have to focus on these things specifically. And the cross-border compensation issue is one that requires a specific focus. And it's, uh, as with many other, I mean, that's not the only health-related issue. And it's most certainly not the biggest one. But to address it, you need a concentrated and focused process. You need to understand what you're doing. You need to work out what kind of systems you need to have in place and what kind of multilateral agreements need to be in place. You need to get a team working on it and deal with the problem. What you don't want to do is to, is, is to basically start attacking patients who are crossing the borders to use South Africa services. That's not how you solve complex policy problems. And I think that this is where a concern is also with the NHI bill. It doesn't appear to address many of South Africa's complex um, health problems, and there doesn't appear to be any kind of analytical basis for many of the proposals being made, and they don't really seem to get to the main issues that we're experiencing as problems within the health service. Prof. Alex van Heever from the Wits School of Governance, thank you very much for your time.